Hello everyone, my name is Manchin and welcome in another quick Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create simple text effect in Photoshop. To be precise, it's going to be transparent text effect. The same effect uh, you can see on my desktop. As I told you before, I have some problem with my laptop. Uh, so some things doesn't work so well. I'm sorry for that, but I hope it's gonna be okay. I don't wanna talk too much. So let's start at first. We need to create new project. Uh, I set width at 950, height at 500, background content at background color, it doesn't matter. And right now, I want to change my background color, so I select gradient and you can create your own gradient, but I want to use ready to use gradient. I think this one would be great, so okay, it looks nice for me. And right now, I want to add pattern uh, to the background so go to solid color select whatever you want it doesn't matter and change field to zero we have to create this uh, layer transparent and as i told you before i had some problem for example i can do a right click on this layer so i have to use FX. Uh, so click FX and go to Pattern Overlay and select your pattern. You can use uh, ready patterns or create your own. If you don't know how to create your own pattern, I shown this in the past in my past tutorials, so you can check it. I select this one. I created four and check change blend mode to soft light soft light works perfect for me and right now we can write our text and right now click t and you should select your part when you want to write and you should select your part when where you want to write uh, but i had some problems i can do this i just click right here Remember to select your font size and your font style. My font style is Cooper. Uh, I think it's good, but you can download some different font style fonts if you want, of course. And right now, write your text. Transparent is too long, so I write liquid. It's also okay, don't you think? Um, so right. Uh, now it's time for our effect. So, as you see, I can't do a right click and go to blending options. So, I have to do something different. Click a fix on this layer and then blending option. And here we go. At first, click bevel emboss and fill opacity at zero. Because, of course, we want to transparent. And here we are. We have beautiful transparent effect so of course we could finish right now but it's up to you what you want to do right now I want to add some effects to this because it doesn't work so well right now so go to bevel emboss you can change depth if you want I think about 150 would be okay not too strong a size can be at five pixels and you can add soften at five as well that i put uh, three i think and about the glass contour click anti-allied and you can check change your glass contour type uh, if you want but it isn't necessary I don't think it's necessary. 
if you want to stay with uh, this uh, type of glass contour, you can in shadow mode change opacity to 100 and also add opacity on highlight mode as one at 100. It's gonna look better, I think. But if you decide to do something different, you can select other type of gloss contour and this one I think looks maybe maybe a little better I'm not sure take a look uh, with different types maybe Lina Dutch it looks like a water right now Lina Bond I think Lina Dutch works uh, really good like a water as I said so I stay with that and of course go to inner shadow right now if you want to add some shadow you can add some distance if you want change your size but I don't think it's a good idea because it can destroy uh, our effect I think uh, Opacity 40% or even 35 is better. So I stay with that. Then let's try with inner shadow. Of course, it white color would be uh, better. I, I I'm not sure should I add this or not. Maybe just what 35 about 30%. Or even less. Like Twenty. You can add outer glow as well. So I put opacity only at fifty percent with blend mode screen, and at the end you can add shadow. But as you know, it's transparent effect, so. I don't think it's a good idea to add shadow to your transparent effect because it's gonna look kinda it's gonna look not so natural if you add some shadow but of course it's up to you you're gonna do whatever you want I don't want this maybe but I as I said I don't think it's such a good idea so take a look how it looks I think it's not so bad uh, as you see if you're gonna duplicate this layer it's gonna be stronger so I don't know what you want but maybe it's a good idea to add some character uh, to this effect whatever I think it's done I hope you enjoyed this tutorial this simple tutorial and well leave a comment if you have any question or any opinion about my channel about this tutorial or or something different thank you for watching and see you in the next Photoshop tutorial